Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you all of the basics and also how to edit a video in DaVinci. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr, you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. If by the way you want to know how to actually get DaVinci Resolve and how to download and install it, previous video on my channel will show you how to do that. So if you're interested and you want to know how to get it from beginning to end, you can just watch the previous video on my channel. Okay, to start off, we are here. This is probably what you'll see when you launch DaVinci for the first time. Now, I already have a couple of projects, but you'll probably only see this one right here. But I actually also wanted to show you what's very important and what a lot of beginners who are just using DaVinci Resolve don't know where it is because it's quite hidden, is where the actual project files are saved. So for that, just go up here click on this logo you say local database click on details open file location now first of all you can up here see the actual path that it takes you to get to this folder then just click on resolve projects users guest projects and then uh, here you can see you have all of your projects and if you actually go into the file you can actually see this is the original project file so that's in case you were searching for that because that's something that at the beginning isn't really explained once again you have the path up here in any case we can close this and now, as I said, you probably only have this at the beginning, this untitled project. So what we're actually going to do is just, or you click here, down here, new project, or open a project that you already have. Or just simply double click on untitled project here. Now, it could be overwhelming at the beginning, but I'll just basically show you every tab very simply. So this is where you actually import the media, and where you can actually inspect it beforehand. The cutscene is actually a detailed part where you can actually do editing. I'll also watch it in the full screen above here. Edit is actually where we're going to do most of our editing. So our video editing is going to happen mostly here. Here in Fusion, this is more for effects, for FX. Something more detailed, we're not going to go over here. Same for colors, it's more a bit more advanced. This, if you want a certain color, a certain contrast in a certain video or scene, you can change that here. Fairlight is a more advanced part for for the audio here as you can see up here and this will actually be where all of the details are in the export so it's actually more of the render so as you can see it's pretty nice they did everything from importing it to doing the editing adding some effects colors and audio until the render part so that's actually nice that they actually rearranged that in that order but as i said we're not going to go in too much detail for that because we're doing a beginner tutorial here so we're just going to go to the edit here and that's also where we're going to do a very important part here which is the project settings now i personally have a 920 by 1080 screen it's hd so that's actually what i'm going for in terms of scale resolution this will actually automatically change to the video you upload so if it's in 60 fps or frames per second 60 fps so don't worry about that same here nothing too much just make sure it's in hd if you have something higher than 2k go for 4k and for the rest nothing too much important here so when we're actually here we want to import media of course now how you can do that is actually right click import media so just open a folder on your computer you just have to search for where your video in question is so for mine it's this one right here you can say change in this case it's for the fps now you can actually drag this right here into the preview window as we import you can do that here so you can do a single window when you only have your own editing window or actually do the one where you can preview it so right here you can just go through the video here at different points of it and just take a part if you think that this part is important you just do mark in and if this part for example you do mark out in case you only want that part of the video but since i'm just doing the recording all in one take when i'm doing youtube videos i never really use the preview window so as i said i can just click here and just go back to this and now all I have to do basically is just audit here on the timeline. There you go. This line right here, you, by the way, you can drag it up if you want. And in case, by the way, if you want to delete clip in the preview window, just do clear recently viewed clip. So now I'm going to back to my single screen here. So basically this screen is your main screen. So whatever I change right here will immediately happen here. This is the main viewer mode. Now this right here, you can actually just zoom in and zoom out on the entire clip but you can also do what's easier is actually take alt so click alt on your keyboard and then scroll up or down to actually zoom in well i'm by the way using a video here of mine that i didn't edit yet which is for upcoming saturday so i can just show an example of how i edit and how i do the basic editing that i do within davinci resolve so just gonna listen here for a second and see where the start is so i just checked and this is the official beginning where i will start talking so what i do then or you can cut it but because this is the first cut we're going to do in the clip and the rest here we're going to leave off anyway you can just do trim start basically which is if you go over it to already show you the logo the icon now what you basically do is just drag it into right there as you can see and just you can just take it back like that that's basically your trim start there but that's just for the beginning and at the end now talking about cutting actually i'm just going to listen to this fur part and stop where i want it to be cut basically so let's just listen. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get Shazam on PC, more specifically Google Chrome. Okay, so towards the end. So there we go. This end right here. This is why I noticed where I say the last letter pretty much. That's basically the point where you want to cut it. So now you actually have the um, the cutting right here. So this is pretty much called a blade, but it's, it's to cut the video. But if you do it like this, it's not going to be very specific. And you have to be very specific at what cutting it. So you could do it like this. 
but I advise you actually to just do a shortcut on your keyboard, which is very easy once again. This time hold control B. So just control B and that will actually cut the clip exactly at the point right at the point where I want it. So then once again, or you can do another cut like an auto control B until the next time I, for example, start talking. Okay, there you go. So just found out that this part goes right after it. Now what I'm actually gonna do, this is usually the part where I put in a second video. And what you can do is directly put the other video on top or you can right click here, add track. And this will add a video track right here, as you can see. Now, actually, if you want to delete it, just do delete track. What I'm actually going to do is just import it immediately. So once again, click right click here and do import media. Hey, there you go. So I just found it. It's my uh, small promo video. Click on it once again. Also, just drag it here in the timeline. Now, as you maybe already saw there, it gives you the option to actually put it on top of a clip. Uh, you would make have to make an additional audio odd track and do stereo, by the way, always, if you're going to make a new audio track. But basically, if I do this right now, but first, guys, if you want, you can go... As you can see, whenever a video is on top of another, that video will have a priority. As you can see what it originally was, me just here in the Google search, will actually be replaced by the video that's on top. In this case, a small little promo video here. Watch out, by the way, you could per accident if you go all the way through here, remove the part that was here in terms of audio. So be aware of that. If you want to unlink these two, the video and the audio, you can just click here and just click here to unlink them or control alt L. So they're both the audio, so that both the audio and the video are now separate and vice versa. Just if you want to do that again if you want to click if you want to link clips again just make sure that they are both selected do control so you can select one then do control to the other right click again and do link clips and there you go to remove a clip or to delete it you can simply do this and do delete selected or you can go back do control z there you go it's back probably in if you're using apple by the way command z in this case or you can also just click backspace or delete on your keyboard and that will also simply remove the clip in question but now as you can see, we're just going to put it next to the clip that we initially wanted the video to be next. So let's just listen once again. It's an extension and I'll explain to you how it works. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment. I can actually also go to the details of a video by going up here in the right corner. Go to inspector. As you can see here, you can zoom in a certain part. You have cropping as well. You also have some speed here. You can speed up the clip. You just do this and drag it around here to make the video go faster. You also have some details like stabilization and actually lens correction. Now, I normally don't do this, but if I wanted it to go into a transition, I can do that by going to effects and go to video transitions here. Now, I can actually just do it like this and see the preview. Now, you have a lot of different ones, obviously, but let's just try this one here. As you can see, just place it here and this is how it looks. See you how it works. But first, guys, if you want, you can... Now, it's not really my style, but there are definitely some instances where these transitions can look really nice. And of course, if you want to delete it, you click on it, right click and delete. Something else that could be of interest to you is titles. So adding text, basically. Now, same, you can do this with a transition, with an animation, rather. For example, text like these, classic, they work really well. Now the text itself you can also change if you click on it. Go to inspector. Here you can actually change the text of what it is. Down here you can change the color for example. Now we see nothing. So let's do it in black. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to see the text. The same. You have some heights. You have some positions here. You can choose the font that you want. And basically as you can see you can just put that over the video in question. And it will actually be a text over it. So that's really nice. Anyway we can just close this here. Click on effects again. But I'm just basically going to continue just doing some editing here. Just removing the spaces where I see it's blank. Where there's no audio playing. Basically now what I'm doing is going right to the point where I'm talking again. So if, for example have this part here. And I just drag it back. There you go. That's how I personally do it. You can have some preferences. So once again here, Alt scroll to zoom in or zoom out. But I like to do it like this. I just take a clip where I see I start talking again. I listen to it. That's what I'm basically going to do until the end. It's nothing really complicated. All right, so there you go. What I basically did was just cutting new parts, just removing parts where I wasn't really talking. I just basically cut the whole time. Now I finished it. It's not really a long video. It's about two minutes long. So what I did towards the end here, as you can see, I start talking. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And here immediately I cut off the audio. And I actually do that by taking this bar right here. As you can see, it's right here. It's a thin white bar. And you basically put it up or down. And the more you go down, as you can see, you can see it here in decibel. At minus 100, it's actually off. Sometimes it's pretty precise. So what you can also just do is make sure only the track is selected here. 
Go to inspector, go to audio actually, you have an audio tab for it as well. And here you can uh, set the volume, as you can see I put it here at minus 100, meaning it's off. As we just saw, it just actually went into a clip with no audio at all. So basically what I can do now, I just alt and zoom out here, as you can see, just put it right there. This is the starting of the video until the end. It really doesn't look that much complicated, this is basically me cutting some parts here. Very simple. So now I'm actually just gonna add the last part of a video, which is for me the background music. So I'm just gonna choose a song. Before actually adding the song, I can go right click here, add track, and this time, and so this time I'm gonna use the audio track. Always make sure it's in stereo, very important. And basically what we're gonna do then is the same principle, right click and do import media again, or control I. There you go, so I have a folder for music here. I'm just gonna go for this one. And I can actually drag it here right on the timeline. Now watch how don't start playing the music right away or start scrolling here because it's still pretty loud. So what we're going to do first is click on it so make sure only this clip is selected. Then you want to go up here to the inspector again. As you can see here it will show the audio tab of the song here. Then first we're going to do is I most of the time put it at minus 40 because this is background music but you always have to see because some songs are louder than others. So just watch what's good for you in case you want to use background music. So I'm just going to play around with a bit. What I'm also going to do here is cut off the end actually. There you go. So make sure it's right at the end. And then uh, we can just do a control B again. Just a cut here. Click on it and delete. Don't have to be too difficult about that. And actually I forgot. I already have a song playing here in this clip. So I'm just going to same. Just cut this off and just drag it to here. What you can do actually to finish it off then, you can just trim end here. As you can see exactly at the moment that it just ends of course. And so now you're just going to see approximately how much the volume needs to be here. Now notice that I also need to mute it right here because there's also something else playing. Just going to do two cuts here and then just bring this down to 100. And that will only affect this clip by the way. Even though I just cut it from this clip, it will only affect this part. There you go. So what I mostly do is just take the loudest part of the song. And so I just start to kind of fade it in. Or fade out to see what point the audio is good. But I also wanted to mention it's very important because it's a... Oh, at the end here we actually want a fade out for the song. So what we actually can do is just grab it like this. Put it a little... Uh, what is it? White dot right here. I'm just going to put it here. Maybe a bit further actually. Start it around here. Then you can do it like this. Now if you do it like this it's going to cut off very quick. And this is going to make it very slow. As you can see it's the wave. The wave pretty much just shows you at what rate it will fade out. So we do it like this. As you can see around here, it's gonna, as you can see, go down more and more and here it's off basically. But anyway, that means that I'm finished with this video here. Now what you want to do, what you actually should do a couple times while editing your videos, is actually go and save it. So we want to go up here to file and save project as. In my case, I like to call them by video. So this is video 176. I just do save. And so the file project actually went to the folder where I show you at the beginning where the actual file location is. And so now the last thing we're going to do obviously is render the video. So for that you want to go back to file up here and click on quick export. That actually depends what you're doing but I'm making a YouTube video so I actually have this right here. This is really nice and you can actually put it directly to YouTube by actually signing in. Now I'm just going to take this for the settings here and click export. And as you can see there, I put it in a folder where I want it to be saved. Now it's actually just exporting. So what I really like about DaVinci, apart from the lot of options it has, is it's also really quick in rendering. That's really nice. So once you see this rendering completed, you can actually click close here. And if you have nothing more to do here, you can actually close the software. But in any case, guys, that was it for this video. I really tried to show you the most basics here that you can use in DaVinci Resolve. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. But in any case, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.